hello you guys and welcome to my channel i want to do a lip glass called champagne today i just want to show you guys how i do mine um right now i am washing and sanitizing my tubes um set them out to dry and of course i am cleaning my uh work area with a little bit of spray bleach making sure it's all good and clean and then i line my area with foil as you can see everything has been sanitized and cleaned and of course i got my gloves y'all so listen i'm all ready so first i use uh, castor oil um castor oil to me is very good for the lip gloss um, um to use in your lip gloss um it gives it a good feel and of course i also use fractionated coconut oil and i also uh use vitamin e oil um oh and guys listen i am not a measurer um so i just kind of eyeball it y'all i eyeball everything so please forgive me if you're looking for measurements i'm not the, i'm not the measurement girl <laughs> so i also use um shea butter shea butter is a great addition to lip gloss to me um, it just gives it a shinier kind of deep uh, texture to the lip gloss so I love to use shea butter as well and so um, again this is gonna be called uh, my color champagne well actually it's called sparkly Ch sparkling champagne I changed the name of it um, so yeah I use the TKB trading uh, dusty rose uh, Mika pigment and so it's really really pretty um, I use a little bit more than the average because for this I want it to be as pigmented as possible so um, yeah I use about a spoonful actually um, a teaspoonful so that's pretty much about what I use for this for this one i think I'll, i'm gonna add a little bit more um just depending on how it looks afterwards so here of course i'm just kind of stirring everything up and trying to make sure everything is super smooth and for some reason i don't know why this is so satisfying to me y'all when i make my lip glosses it's kind of like being in my own personal um therapy session <laughs> I don't know. It's so therapeutic to me. So I love doing it. Um, I'm not a pro by any means, but I definitely enjoy what I do. Um, so anyway, this is the white lip liquid that I'm adding. Um, for some reason, when I add white pretty much to any color that I do, it gives it some more depth. Um, it seems like it makes the color pop a little bit more. And of course, you every most people know that with lip glosses, um, they're not very pigmented um, because of the lip gloss base. But yeah, when you add white, it seems like it helps it kind of pop a little bit more. So I add some of that. And again, I didn't measure it. I just kind of um, eyeball it. And so, um, yeah, that's how I do it. And look how pretty it is. I sped it up just a tad bit just for the sake of not um having a extra long video but that is so pretty um you'll see at the end of the video how it looks <laughs> and here you guys please excuse me i had two um tkb trading uh lip gloss base bags and so i was at the end of both of them so y'all listen we don't waste no product so i just grabbed my little scissors and cut the little opening off honey and got the rest of <laughs> this lip gloss base out okay because no you know any business owner knows you do not waste money if possible so i'm trying to get it out of there so that's what i did and so i had two of those and i um honey was squeezing for my life okay <laughs> so yeah I got those and then I um pretty much stirred them you know of course after I got it all out I was stirring and stirring but you'll see in a, in a second I don't know why I didn't speed this part up y'all 
I'm so sorry that you guys are having to watch me do this, but this is real. This is what it is. Um, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more to it. Um, trying to remember, cause of course this is a voiceover. So I think I'm going to add a tad bit more from my big bag. Um, once I finish scraping this out of, uh, these two bags. So yeah. Um, yeah, this is what I did in order to make use of every bit of product that I have, honey, because, Listen, you can make some money off of what you think you, you know, what you think you might want to throw away. That's a whole tube of gloss, child. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, once you get to stirring, you want to stir it kind of slowly. Um, for one, you don't want to, um, you don't want anything to spill. And I found in my experience, when I kind of stir fast, Lord, it's that stuff start going everywhere. But so anyway, I'm stirring it up, um, just trying to get a good consistency. And so um, you'll see once I stir and stir, I think some of these I sped up some so you don't have to just sit and watch me stir um, because sometimes there's a lot of stirring involved. But yeah, I stir it up and stir it up and I know I'll probably add something else to it because like I said, I eyeball everything and this is not the consistency that I want, you know, from what I, from what I'm doing now. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep stirring and I'm going to add some more um, coconut oil in a, in a few. You'll see in a second, I'll add some more oil to it. Um, so it'll be perfect for me. Uh, oh, yeah, I did add a little bit more of the pigment. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit more colored so yeah I put a little bit uh, more in there and then I added a little bit more coconut oil um yeah and that's going to give me a great consistency and also keep in mind that I still have to add my flavoring oil and the other oil and so yeah I sped it up because I didn't want you guys to have to sit there and watch that but yeah I'm stirring and stirring and stirring um, just until I get the perfect consistency that I like. Um, I like it to be kind of thick, not too thick, not too thin. Of course, when it's thicker to me, it has a tendency to last a little longer. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. But yeah, this is getting there. If you can see. So I added my hydrogenated y'all. I cannot pronounce this word. Poly isobutin butin. But anyway, I can't pronounce that correctly. So I just happened to put it on the screen for you guys. So yeah, I add that. And for those who don't know what that is, that is the ingredient that makes your lip gloss super silky and it makes it pop like crazy. Like it's super shiny on your lips. And so I add that in there. Not too much of that because it's strong. It's a strong ingredient. So, but yeah, that's look at that it's so smooth i love that i love that consistency of it i love it so yeah that's perfect for me and so i add my rose gold glitter um safe for use in lip glosses you guys i did all of my research and found that this particular one is safe in lip glosses and uh for other makeup so yeah i added that in there and, um, oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. I added it and I stirred it and I'm going to add a little bit more because I like this lip gloss sparkly, hence the name sparkling champagne. <laughs> Look at how smooth that is. I love the consistency of this. <clears throat> So, yeah, I'm just stirring it up and kind of playing with it, y'all. It's it's so, like I said, therapeutic just to do this. I don't know. I get a just a super sense of calmness when I make lip glosses. It's so fun to me. Um, So, yeah, I put some more in there, as you can see. Giving it a good stir. And it's pretty much perfect. 
Oh my God. Look at that. Yeah. That's it, right? That is the consistency you want. <laughs> I know I'm goofy. Stir it up, girl. Stir it up. So anyway, I'm going to add my sparkling wine flavoring by Lorraine. Um, oh my God, it smells so good, you guys. Uh, I add about two caps full, probably two and a half for this um, bowl. And it smells amazing. Uh, I also add a little bit of butter rum flavoring just to give it a little bit more of a kick to the smell of it. And it mixes very well with the um with the other flavoring that I just use. I only use a smidget of it, so I don't want it to be too strong, but I definitely want the smell to be very apparent in this lip gloss. So I just get that in there real good. Stare that up really good. Did I say stare? Stare that up? No, stir. Sorry. It's late. It's about two something in the morning. And I'm tired and I decided to do this voiceover. So excuse my voice, you guys. But this is what it is. So anyway, I just want I'm showing you guys how the consistency looks on here. I'm just kind of look at that. That's so beautiful to me. <laughs> you guys let me know what y'all think if it's pretty. Um, at the end of the video, you'll see how it looks on. just about ready to fill my tube so at this point I switch out my gloves because um, I don't want the oils that I have on my gloves you know from working so far to get all on the tubes even though I do give my tubes a bath um, at the end I just I don't I don't want to um, you know get extra oil on them so I always change gloves um, through the process and so I'm getting my little squeeze tubes out of there. They've, of course, like you seen earlier, were already washed and uh, sterilized. Nobody told me that they take super long to dry, y'all. So it took these tubes, after I washed them, about two days. I was like, wow. But nevertheless, I would rather them be super clean than to, you know, not wash them at all. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, get my little pipette. Cutting most of that off. I always leave a little bit more because I like the way it fits on it, on the um the syringe. But for this one, I was putting it on, and um, I think I was putting it on too tight or something, and it ended up kind of uh, sp splitting. So I had to take it off and put on another one which you will see in just a few seconds. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just taking my other pipette and um, cutting it real good. Get on there. Get on there. <laughs> Y'all, I'm tired and it's late. I'm sleepy. <sighs> so yeah. Now it's time for me to fill my syringe. And so, um, as opposed to me, like, sucking it up, I just kind of poured it in. It was so easy to do it like this. I had been just doing it the other way, but, yeah, I like doing it this way. Y'all watch how smooth. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Get get out of there. I'm trying to get it all. Y'all heard me say I don't like the waste products at the beginning of this video. So, yeah, that's what it is. So, yeah, I'm just um, making sure my syringe is as full as possible. And these syringes are humongous. 
And I find that using smaller syringes are so much easier to use, but that's a whole nother video. And I sped this up just a little bit because most people see, most people who's into lip gloss know this process. So if you guys want me to do another one, um, just kind of slowing this part down, I will. But yeah, for this one, I just want to speed this part up. And if you're going to use this particular um, color combination, you know, make it your own. That's what I've done. I've I've taken um, people's I not taken people's idea like that, but I have seen people do stuff, and and I've kind of gleaned gleaned from them and just kind of made you know my own out of what I've seen or what I've learned. As a, I've seen people like literally copy verbatim uh, what some people do, and that's not what I wanted to do. I just, you know, got ideas and just, you know, made it my own and became creative and just put a lot of thought into it. And so this is one of my most popular uh, colors. Yep. So, yeah. Pretty much filled them up. I got my sanitized uh, tops. Get ready to top them off. Yeah, and so um, this is like another favorite part of mine. I don't know why, but putting the tops on <laughs> the tubes. I don't know why I like this part. I don't, I don't get it. But I like it. Here we are. Yeah, so, oh, I think my, my phone, my uh, whole thing almost fell over. Oh, I had a whole problem trying to get that one in. I don't know why. But here they are, guys. Here are my sparkling champagne lip glasses. Glasses. Anyway, I gave them a wash. Mom had made some more this same night. So I gave them all a wash. And here is how it looks on. And here it is on my website. Thank you guys for watching.